Rubber Ducky, you're the one. <laughs> what is up, YouTubians? Cooter Malone here, coming at you with another exciting video, showing everybody how I am cleaning and sanitizing and keeping my bread banathons as clean and dry as possible to prevent mold or fungus from forming, right? Sanitizing the banathons. Banathon, banathon, banathon. This video <laughs> is all about these banathons. Bread baskets, if you prefer. Anyways, what's going on is I've got my oven going, right? I just went through a cycle of of doing the fermentation process. The dough is in the banatons for 48 hours in the fridge. That helps them to rise beautifully. I've done other videos on how to bake bread, but this one is specifically about keeping these clean. So, so in my oven, I've got the dough and the bread in there baking away. Look at how crispy and crunchy it's getting. I'm in like the final five minutes of this baking process. But what I've been doing is, is all the residual heat that's coming up from the oven is, is basically warming this stovetop. So all of these burners are off. And what I'm doing is, is I've been rotating these every five minutes to keep them dry and to get them to dry out, to get all that crusted on flour that's in there to dry, right? And what I do is every so often I'll, I'll shake them out or I'll tap them to get any excess flour that's out there. And then I'll rotate them. So like five minutes from now, what I'll do is I'll move this one upside down and maybe put it over here. Then I'll take this one, flip this one upside down, put it over here. I might flip this one this way. Then on the next cycle, I might turn it this way and turn it this way. Anyways, you get the idea. The goal is to try to dry out whatever flour is in here to prevent the mold and the fungus from forming. So then what I'll do is rubber ducky is a designated scrubber brush. I only use it for this purpose so that I can keep this clean and sterile. But what I will do is I will go in there and brush, right? The edges, all those little valleys that are in there and get out any excess flour. And then I'll go ahead and tap the flour out into the trash. You get the idea to get rid of the flour. After the bed, after the bread's done baking, right, and I take it out of the oven, usually these are completely dry, and by that point, they should be completely clean after doing the rubber ducky treatment to them and all that kind of stuff. But what I'm doing is, is I'm constantly checking them, right, feeling them, making sure they don't get too hot, because I don't want them to spontaneously explode. Ah, fire! No, okay, I'm trying to prevent all that. But this is just a trick or tip that I do to keep these things clean. So that's how I keep them sanitary. And then for storage purposes, what I'll do is I'll stack them up. Like once they're dry and clean and all that, I'll stack them up and then put them usually on top of the refrigerator, open and aired like this, not in a bag or anything. Sometimes I'll turn them upside down so that no creepy crawlies will get <laughs> will fall in there or whatever. Also helps to prevent the dust from going inside the basket. But basically, just trying to keep them aired and clean and dry, dry environment. That's what helps to prevent the mold from forming and any kind of fungus or whatever. So that's my little tip or trick for keeping these things clean. Never use water to clean them out because that might contribute to mold forming, etc. But just basically keeping them dry, 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 dry. Anyways, now's a good time to hit that subscribe button down there below. There's also some links to some pretty cool products in the description. I am, I cannot stress this enough. I'm really trying to hit 500 subscribers by the end of this month. So please make sure to subscribe here on YouTube, post it on Instagram, share it with your friends, put it up on Facebook, try to get all your buddies and your friends involved. If you want to hit the notification bell to be alerted of upcoming videos and all that good stuff. Also down in the description, there's a link to Cooter Malloy product reviews on Facebook. Make sure to visit that page and like on there as well if you like what you're seeing. Anyways, I'm Cooter Malloy, keeping my bonathons clean and sanitized and healthy rotating them around the oven every five minutes or so, flipping them over. You get the idea. I will catch you all on the next video.